Hi there, I'm Farida, and this is the Dental Radiology. Welcome to another Dental Radiology case. Let's begin. This is a preapical radiography of the maxillary premolars. So we can see the maxillary premolars, the crown, the root, and the lamidura and the pedial space and the surrounding bone. Something that is not normal in this radiography is this preapical radiolucency in the apex of the second premolar. So how did this happen? If you look closer, you can see this deep composite filling. Composite filling can cause tooth necrosis, especially when the filling is so close to the tooth pulp. So the leftover microorganism and the irritation of the filling starts an inflammatory process. The inflammatory products are acid and it reabsorbs the preapical bone. So what we have is a preapical radiolucency with a pedial widening and loss of the preapical lamellidura. But what we saw in the clinical examination was very important. Before taking the x-ray, I noticed this kind of mole appearance on the face, but there was also a depression on the cheek. So I asked the patient if there is pause coming out from this pimple, and she said yes. Believe it or not, this deep composite filling near the pulp has caused this. Most of the patients have no pain or mild pain, so no referring to the dentist, and the inflammation process goes on and on, and a lot of acid is produced. The products look for it the easy way to get out, so it comes out from the apical foramen and spread inside the bone. So it can resorb the lingual or buccal bone plate, and depending where the root is, the inflammation can spread out inside the facial space. In the maxillary teeth, if the root is beneath the buccinator muscle, it causes swelling inside the mouth and fistula, so we call it the vestibular space abscess. But if it's over the attachment of the muscle, it causes swelling under the skin, so we call it the cutaneous dental sinus drain, and all of this are odontogenic infection. So what about the treatment? The teeth needs a root canal treatment, and for the skin, the fistula can be removed by electrosurgery, but it may leave a scar. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. If it was helpful, please feel free to share it and press that bell button for getting notifications for my next videos.